staat er dan zo voor je vinger. Dus What should I say? Come on, world champion. <laughs> hey, it's not been a bad year for you this year. You won uh, a national competition uh, under uh, 51 kilos. 51, yeah. And then uh, for England, you went to, uh, was it Jamaica or Bahamas, was it? We went to Miami first for a uh, training camp and then Bahamas. Not bad, eh? Not bad. Right, well, holiday for you. We didn't go there for a holiday, though. Where's your medal? Is that it? Yes, it's in here. You see him get around. <laughs> and how did you feel? Oh god, you know. It's everything I've been training for for like years and I've been away um a lot of times now with England and sometimes I just miss out just just a little bit on um doing meddling at like big oh. competitions and stuff. So but if anything it's really like made me want it more and it's made this moment extra special. Um a man actually come up to me afterwards and was recording me speaking. And he said to me, um, you know, the first and second round was good. He said, but like, what happened in the third round? You just didn't stop. Like, you just went for it. I said, I know I had it. I wanted to make sure I definitely had it because I've missed out that many times. Yeah. I, do you know what I mean? I'd, I'd make sure, like, I had to make sure my, my tank was empty. I'd done everything I could. You know, there's so many times you step out of the ring and, and lose a close decision, and yet they're, they're not even breathing heavy. Yeah. And you're thinking, well, you know, you're not going to make that mistake, are you? No. And if, if that's what I mean, so all that stuff in the past where I missed out on to... I've just got you that gold medal. Yeah. So. All those heartaches has ended up in a, a big, uh, many more to a big come. smile. Yeah. <laughs> and uh, that's meant that you've now qualified for the GB squad, is that right? Um, no, I, I was with the GB before I went away. Oh yeah. What happened was um, they got a group of girls for um, for the women's development squad mm -hmm. to see who can get in and stuff like that. Um, which is a new program set up with GB, and then I went, I went for there just hoping to get selected for the women's development squad. You know, start from somewhere, and then I got an email a couple of weeks later saying that I'm on the podium central squad. So it's been a rapid uh, rise. I mean, I think I videoed you uh, against another good kid from around our way, Courtney McCarthy, about four years ago. I think it was 2013. Yeah. I, I think. And it's Watson from the blue corner. probably your second or third fight and even then I went Phew, these, these girls are good and both of you this year ended up winning national competitions I think she was the weight above you at 53, 54 kilos yeah, yeah. you won at 51 kilos and uh, like I say you kept persisting and, and now you're Commonwealth champion and two of them from the same gym yeah you yeah, we said that I got a photo with him when he brought his belt in and I said oh wouldn't it be good if come back and there's two Commonwealth Games champions. <laughs> you know, one amateur, one pro. Um, and did you, what were your, um, what were your expectations when you went out there? Because as a youth, you're probably one of the youngest girls over there, wasn't you? Um, well, we was all youth, it was like... Yeah, I know, but, but the youth though, is a two year age difference, yeah, isn't it? You could be 17 or you could be 19. Yeah, and, yeah. and you must have been one of the youngest youths that got over there. I was one of the youngest, but... I've can I've had a lot of experience, so I, obviously I'd done a lot with England when I was a junior. Mm -hmm. So I was expecting myself to get gold. So obviously you can't really, you can't really um, achieve something if if you don't believe in it yourself. No, so. no, no rightly so, but realistically, you know, most people probably wouldn't have expected you to to win gold because you were at least probably eighteen months younger than the the most experienced guys, uh, the girls out there who you were fighting. Yeah. It's true, but even if it was a year later and I was that like the oldest, I still would have felt the same way because because I was getting that training in with GB. I was up there every other week. Do you know, I was training well in the gym. Like I think it was just going well before the um, before the competition. So well, like you say you were sparring with Lisa Whiteside, exactly, uh, seven-time yeah. national champion, and she's going into the uh, the uh, senior she version. Is. is that later on this year she or is. early she's, next year? She's over there now. Oh, she was there now. So you know, I felt the best that I've ever felt, and I knew like. Do you know, if it was my time to like win gold, if I was going to win gold, it was going to be then. So. Because you have a very aggressive style, don't you? Yeah. You don't, you know, you are a female Ricky Allen. <laughs> <laughs> in the nicest, no, it can change. In the nicest possible way, you are horrible because you just non stop <laughs> and uh, you're quite brutal. 
<laughs> I think it changes as well with like who I'm in with and stuff. Like, not like I don't be less brutal with someone else. I mean, like I can go forward and I can go back as well. So it's often that comes in handy. So what are you hoping for then in 2018? Because you, I mean, it'd be hard to surpass what you've done in this year. Yeah, I was a youth youth Olympics. Oh, so right. it's, a, it's a busy year. I'm not sure. I'm not sure. Yeah, because I've just been focusing on doing the World Championships in November, uh -huh. and then there's the Europeans at the start of the year. We think because that's to qualify for the the Youth Olympics. So you've got to get um, the saying. You've got it to qualify. You've got to get gold in the Europeans. So <laughs> just focusing on a lot of stuff now. Then. All right. Well, listen. It's been a pleasure to uh, speak to you. Hopefully, I'll catch you. Where are you going to do a little training session here now? Yeah. Was, was this, uh, just ticking over now, you, you must be, yeah. you must deserve a rest up <laughs> I have had a rest to be honest with you, I um, came in yesterday. Well, how long was ago when you picked up that gold medal? Um, don't know, oh, it's okay, two yeah, weeks yeah, something so like you've that. had a rest. You mean you've had a few days off then? No, I've had a week off. I've been like a week and a half since I've been since I got back. So <laughs> I've had a week and a half off. Um, just do a training session now. Get ready for the um, Multi Nations camp on Wednesday. Up at oh, well, that's what I think we forgot to mention. You won the Three Nations as well, didn't you? Yeah, yeah. In between picking up your first national. Well, that wasn't your first. It was your first national as a yeah. youth. And then you won the Three Nations, and then the Commonwealth. <laughs> We're on a <the> roll. <laughs> Congratulations, guys. Thank you. Take Bye. care, love. Bye-bye. Bye. -bye. Bye. Bye.